Look, we've always heard the term, use fire tiger to catch this fish, use fire tiger to catch this. Fire tiger is one of the best colors in the world, but I have never seen a fire tiger crappy jig. I'm sure there's some out there, but today we're making ours. So stay tuned. You know, before we get started, the coolest thing about this, you can head to the website. I actually have a bundle and we've got the July color of the month, which is going to be fire tiger. Uh, it's been out for about a week now on the website. I'm just now getting to making the video about it. So go check it out, crappymanjigs.com. So let's see how we created this color. Let's sit here and think about fire tiger. Now, what does that bring thoughts into my head as a color? You know, fire tiger, you basically got a tiger, which is orange and fire, which is red or pink or something. But there seems to always be a sharp truce in this color, which I mean, I'm very good at making a sharp truce. So we're just going to tie together chartreuse, orange and red that's going to be the base of whatever we design for this color so what i'm thinking is i'm going to have orange red and chartreuse glitter now i'm going to see how dark that is and then i want a chartreuse hollow to really bring out everything and when it contrasts in the light you can see the chartreuse but when it's like uh, low light conditions there's no chartreuse at all except for you know the glitter itself so that's the baseline of everything that i'm thinking so we're gonna run with that and hope it works out all right so we got our plastic Let's see if it's up to temp there we go, 365. So that is perfect. So now, like I said, we're going to add chartreuse, orange, and red, and maybe a, a kind of a darker green glitter. So let's go ahead and add that right here into our plastic, just like this. All right, now we got that. Let's stir it up and see what we're working with. We added a lot of glitter. But I want the glitter to be the most important part of this jig. So right now, we bring the camera in. This is what we're working with, just a clear fire tiger base. Now what I am gonna do is add a little bit bigger red, not a lot, just enough that every jig gets a couple pieces just to kind of brighten it up just a hair yeah there we go let's check it out now just adding that red just to have that red stand out just a little bit more so now we want a chartreuse outside and what i mean by that like if you take the little minnow right here it's a solid chartreuse now what i want is for you to see this but it to be see-through also so it's not going to take but a couple drops so let's shake this chartreuse up we'll go one two three let's do three drops see where that leaves us that mixed up really good so now let's take some and we'll put some on the table to see what it looks like let that dry but i'll show y'all a close-up of this now now we looking like a fire tiger it may need another drop or two but we're waiting on this to ah over here burning myself Yeah, I believe we're gonna need another drop or two because that's, it's still real see-through. So we'll add probably three more drops. That should be good, I'm thinking. Dude, all of that glitter, like look, look at that getting mixed up. There we go. That's what I want. Just to see the chartreuse 
shine. So now all we gotta do, protection first, put our heat resistant glove on. We'll get this butter knife out of here. Move this over here. Now let's shoot it up. So we'll dump one into the OG. Fill that cavity up. And we'll make a micro. Alright. So let's let those set up. We'll see what all right. So while we're letting those set up, I mean it really don't take but 30 40 seconds to do that, but I want it to be kind of firm to show you guys the actual color of it. So what I'm gonna do is for the bait of the month, I'm gonna be painting some jig heads uh from here on out. This is about the only way you're gonna get painted jig heads unless I get a lot of requests for it. So if I get a lot of requests, I'm actually if I can find the time, I'm going to paint some and put them on the website. But for this color, we're going to do orange and chartreuse. That's going to be the fire tiger jig head that comes with the bundle. Now, it doesn't come with every order. So if you order one pack and you don't get no jig head, it comes with the bundle. I think the bundle is like 20 bucks. So let me grab my heat gun and some paint and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to make this color. So we've got everything laid out that we need. We've got a pair of pliers. we got one sixteenth ounce peel head jig head we've got our heat gun we've got our orange and we've got our green so we're gonna put this on low now i'm doing this behind the camera so i don't know how well it's gonna work so we're gonna heat this for just a little bit i kind of look at the jig head and when it starts to shine a little bit i know i'm ready to roll so we're gonna do the whole jig head orange and we'll set that in with the heat gun. You see how the paint's not really shiny. You're just gonna go over it until it gets shiny. Well, pretty much smooth. You, you want the paint to be smooth. So we got smooth and now we're just gonna, we're gonna reset the jig head so we can go straight in. And we're just gonna do half of it every one of these i mean they're going to look you know they're not going to be 100 percent the same turn the heat gun off and there you go a fire tiger 1 16th ounce jig head so now let's go check out the color that we made all right so these should be set up really good we're going to break out the og first now I am going to make these in a little minnows and the swim baits. So here is the OG. We'll get this in the light. Heck yeah. That is a bad mamma jamma right there. That's a nice color. Should work muddy water, dingy water, clear water don't matter let's check out the micro the micro 1.2 inch minnow or as i call the micro minnow another just delicious looking bait now let's check one out on the jig head so here's a swim bait now here's a 1 16th ounce size four hook we're gonna thread it right up in there and just like that we have created a fire tiger jig should be great for fishing up north catching perch but most of all is great for catching those daggone slabs so Hope you enjoyed today's video. July, bait of the month, Fire Tiger, CrappyManJigs.com. We got a lot of cool stuff coming in the near future. So if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave a comment down below what you struggle with the most crappy fishing. And I may just make a video for it.